the really funny part of it has definitely been, in my opinion, real funny part of it has been this update featured in the New York Mag, right? Just recently, as of just a couple of hours ago, this just broke all over <laughs> social media. <laughs> This is really, really interesting because what it proves is that the original video that Stephen Crowder put out where he says, you know, um, Candace Owens has his foot, has her heel on his neck and is basically trying to extort him in a weird way because she has information about him and his divorce and whatnot. So he came out and just said it and he made it seem like his wife just wanted different things and he was really upset about it and went to stay with his wife and blah, 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 blah. Right? If this was the case... I always thought that that kind of first video was definitely him trying to preemptively get in front of the story. And for sure, there were other bits and pieces coming out. And then when we saw that guy, I forgot his name, that was formerly on Louder and Crowder, go on a few podcasts and speak about how much of a piece of shit Crowder is as a boss behind the scenes. It kind of felt like there was rumblings going on of other people coming out saying other things. And he basically got wind of it because most of these pieces the journalist will def will usually reach out to the person accused and get comment from them. So I'm sure he got wind of it that way or just other ways through media sources and whatnot. And he went into print to get in front of it and maybe try and kill this theme and the steam of the story. But it didn't work. This is courtesy of New York Mag. The intelligence says Stephen Crowder exposed himself at work. Ex staffers say the funny thing about this, right, of him exposing himself um, at work. The only funny thing about this is that this directly plays into the narrative and to the theories out there that Stephen Crowder is an alleged closet homosexual or something, or bisexual at the least. This plays into it because if he's exposing himself at people he works with, at Louder with Crowder, and if you've watched the show, you would know there aren't many women in that studio. I don't think there's any, actually. I think it's all dudes. So the only people he's exposing himself to are other guys he works with. <laughs> so whatever whatever kind of narrative he was trying to run away from, from being accused of being gay or being bisexual, he's not running away from it. If he's going around allegedly exposing his little winker to people he works with and all male flipping stuff, it's pretty nuts. Let's read it anyway. Conservative provocateur and YouTuber Steven Crowder has been having some problems ever since he declined what he called was a slave contract. I love the terminology. <laughs> oh, it's just unnecessary. Why would you say that? <laughs> they offered me $50 million. They want me to be a slave. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> <That's> not... <laughs> oh. <laughs> fucking americans i fucking love you guys isn't he canadian i don't know it doesn't matter let's continue um <clears throat> 50 million dollars to join ben shapiro's daily wire operation in january amid carter's messy divorce a video from 2021 has made public last week which he yells at his wife while she's eight months pregnant with their twins Crowder, who has complained of no fault divorce laws where he lives in Texas, scolded her for not behaving in wifely manner and refused to allow her to use their car. In a statement from his soon to be ex Hillary, he claims that he has been engaging in mentally and emotionally abusive behaviors for years. She claims that, right? Which makes a lot of sense. So the, I think the mentally and emotionally abusive behavior is, I think, way worse than the physical one, especially if you're Crowder. Like, it just, it's hard to come back from this sort of type of thing. But hey, while Crowder denied a claim, a report from the New York Post on Tuesday described allegations from 10, 10 <laughs> former employees who say Crowder oversaw an abusive company where he continuously harassed them. Chief among them are allegations that Crowder would often expose himself at work. I can definitely, definitely see this happening because of all the skits they do where he dresses up as people, especially women. He seems to love those a lot, right? But just in general, I will legitimately, legitimately can see him being the kind of person who like, you know, likes to maybe dance around when naked. It kind of reminds me of this other guy. Oh yeah, Brian Callen, right? That kind of need to kind of like perform and dance, right? And just kind of be a little bit cheeky. I feel like kind of crowd that has the same sort of thing in him. So big up Brian Callen, for having a fucking talent 
for spotting and aligning himself with absolute shit bags, right? There's a moment where Callan legitimately thought he had won a midlife or, you know, end of life flipping lottery by scoring um, the gig to kind of work on Louder Ricarda and be their kind of comedic sort of voice on there right and he was kind of flexing his muscle on the tfat k he was being a bit more snappy to brendan answering back and shit wearing different clothes wearing cologne putting shoes on instead of the shitty sandals he looked like he was having a great time and now look just it's not even been a month yet since he's been working for ladder crowder and now he's being accused of all this shit <laughs> Oh, I fucking love it. It's fucking hilarious, man. These guys are all such pieces of shit. And they all just get away with it. But it's funny just to see for the time being. Anyway, continues. In March 2018, Crowder and his crew were driving in the van. <laughs> this already sounds like a scene out of Bang Bus or something. Um, Crowder and his crew were driving in a van when a former producer he liked to call Not Gay Jared. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy. He's one of the first ones to leave, wasn't he? Not get jazz one of the first ones to leave. And the other guy, quarter black something, right? Quarter black something. Those are the first two guys I remember leaving. I'm thinking, rah, how come those guys? They, they were like legit OGs, isn't it? Like, I remember him. Not get Jared and the other guy, quarter black something. They were the first two guys to leave. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, this is fucking gonna be great. Um sorry, um he liked to call Not Get Jared, fell asleep in the back row. Stephen was in front and he was joking about what he was going to do, a witness said. He climbed over and dropped his junk on top of Gerard's shoulder. The same ex staffer recalled that Crowder had exposed himself to Gerard in 2017 while they were filming a parody version of Ghost. So while Not Gay Gerard is sleeping in the back, minding his business, he would flip him, pull out his winker, and drop his nuts on his shoulder. It's nice. Um, great boss. Never met him. Um, and on the flight in 2018, a different employee claims they saw Crowder put his testicle on one of his childhood friend and assistant, John Goodman. Another employee remembered that Crowder had showed his genitals to Dave Landau, a comedian and former co-host <laughs> who called Crowder a bully last week. So Crowder doesn't have a type. He just is a bit of an exhibitionist, it looks like, right? He, maybe that's his kink. He likes risque. What's that called? What are they called? Um, what are they call it? It's not, it's not voyeur. Voyeurs when you look. What is it when you flash? Is it flashing? Is it peeping? No, yeah, because peeping Tom, you're looking. Voyeur, you're looking. What's when you are What's when you want to expose yourself? What's that called? It's a kink, isn't it? It's a bit creepy because usually the guys that do it have like tan coats and go to fucking children's playgrounds and shit. So it gets a bit dicey. Um, exhibitionist is that what it's called exhibitionist yeah so he's got that kind of a kink in him it looks like he just wants to kind of you know shock and whore or maybe he thinks he's doing a skit he's doing like a jackass skit or something right maybe he thinks that i don't know um landau claimed that crowder installed a don't dave don't talk button on the show to get him to be quiet on air at first i took it as him trying to be friendly or one of the guys um now i see it as a power play god almighty so everybody's seen flipping Crowder's dick, basically. Everybody. Crowder allegedly sent production assistants to do his laundry and could be unreasonable uh, micromanager who would <laughs> make wild requests after hours to set people up for failure. The laundry thing, I don't think is a big deal. I think they're basically, this is unnecessary to add to the article. I think if you're an assistant, part of what you do as an assistant is dry cleaning, picking up coffees, uh, depositing checks in banks. That's not that big of a deal, in my opinion. But I'm sure he's the kind of person I'll be telling you, use this type of detergent. You know, I want it dried in a certain way. Only go to this flipping laundry mat. Um, only have this person deal with it. I don't know. All those kind of unnecessary nonsenses. But doing the laundry as an assistant shouldn't be that far-fetched or crazy because that's basically an assistant's job. But I can't imagine a worse occupation to have than being the, you know, personal assistant of fucking Steven Crowder. Like, no, God help me. I'd much rather work for fucking Ben Shapiro than Stephen Crowder, for sure. Um, even though he probably wouldn't like me because, you know, black and shit. Um, but we continue. Uh, <laughs> um, who would make wild requests after hours to set people up for failure? ex has claimed that he would regularly berate his team and threaten to fire people on the company's Discord channel. He sounds a bit like Brendan, isn't it? He's given a bit of Brendan in terms of how he acts like a, as a boss. 
really interesting. It's giving it's giving Brendan Shaw, um, you know, how socials. He's talking to him on his chat on DMs. He's talking to him on Discord. Crazy. Um, he even went after his own father, Darren Crowder, per one source. Darren, what kind of name is Darren? Madness. Per one source who claimed Crowder would yell at his dad. If, oh, he's one of those guys who shouts at his dad in front of people. One of those kids. I fucking hate you, dad. Fuck you, man. Dad. No, dad. Like, what could they be arguing about? Like, if they if they agree politically on many things and cultural issues, what could they be arguing about? I can show my dick to who I want, dad. Um, who claimed Crowder would yell his dad in front of employees. Um, Darren did not respond to the post or request a comment. That's a real dad. That's a real OG pup, sir. Even though his son is flipping, you know, takes the piss out of him and shouts at him in public and shit he still kept his mouth shut and didn't snitch good 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 dad it says yeah um, i'm shocked but it's pathetic what he did to hillary a former employee said regarding the video of crowder yelling at his pregnant wife that might not be the steven you see on the show but that was the real steven ah so he keeps it hidden but they didn't see it. okay cool i'm not surprised man i'm not surprised in the slightest this sounds very on brand but again, I find it hilarious that he's been silently fighting the allegations that he may be allegedly a closet homosexual. And then the story comes out that he loves to flip in, show off his little nutsack and his little twinkle to his, to his flipping staff members, allegedly, um, you know, <laughs> invitation, you know, and all the staff members are men, right? It's pretty hilarious how... You try to fight the allegations and then some of the allegations come firing right back at you. I find that fucking incredible. 